Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a exclusive look at the top 32 of the European YCS for you guys. I have a lot of information. I have the breakdown of the event itself. I have the breakdown of the top 32. Uh, day 2, I have all the deck lists, which we're going to go through. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to mark it in the description with the timestamp so you can easily navigate to whichever you need to navigate to. So, um, yeah, before we get into it, of course, a huge shout out to Raven Trade, the organizer of the events. It was an extremely smooth run event. Uh, there were no difficulties, no nothing. Everybody had a great time. It was really nice. Shout out to Farfa for streaming the entire event. It was very cool to follow along. And then, of course, the maker of these uh, visuals that you're going to see in a little bit is my good friend Sven. Uh, Dead Nexus on Twitter. I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description down below. He always posts cool stuff in advance, so you can check that out. And a big shout out to Scrabbling for uh, getting all the decks in uh, in the proper uh, file for Sven to uh, easily use them to the deck profile. So yeah, let's go straight up. Uh, day one, there was 718 players. Um, there is just a lot to be seen here. So um, yeah, if you want to watch this specifically, you can pause the video here. I'm not much sure I'm going to talk about. Uh, this is the round one above. This is the others. Uh, quite a diverse beta. There's a lot of decks being played. And yeah, so round number nine, this was day two cut. So this was uh, after all the X two or higher players got cut or all the X three or higher. 21 Sword Soul, 19 Liberty Tri Brigade, 14 Invoked, 10 Drytron, and then a lot of singles like the Phantom Knights, Eldritch, Evil Twin, Prank Kids, Tri Brigade, DPE, and yeah, pretty solid. Uh, a lot of DPE, a lot of Liberty Disc, surprisingly, and a lot of Sword Soul survived. Uh, there were, those were the most played decks, so that's a pretty high conversion rate. Also, to note, Tritron had a pretty high conversion rate for this event itself. And then one Geist, one Flonerys, one Scepter Dragoon, one Dragon Link, Inferno, ABC, DPE. <laughs> ABC, DPE, that sounds really nice. Unchained, DPE, B Trooper, DPE. Wonder who that was. Top 32 breakdown. So this was after the last two rounds of Swiss. So this is everything that entered the top, cut it to a nice graph. We have nine Swords, so there are eight Tenji and one um, Stellar Knight list. Seven Liridisc Tri Brigade, so uh, out of the 100 plus Liridisc Tries, there's only seven going into the top cut, so that's a pretty bad conversion rate. Four Drytron made it in, a couple of Invoked, Dogma DPE, Striker DPE, Tri Brigade DPE, B Trooper DPE, and Prank It's... <sighs> so, uh, there's a lot of DPE. 33% um, or 30% of the participants play to DPE in your deck, which uh, is extra information you can do with as you please. So let's go straight up into the deck profile, starting off with the top 32 by uh, Alexandre. So let me see if I can get this in a little bit better. There you go. All right, cool. So yeah, let's take a quick peek. A sword Soul, the first Sword Soul deck of many. Three Ash, Three Moye. Uh, this is all just very basic stuff. I'm not going to talk about everything in particular because we would be here for the entire evening. He does main the Reborn spell. He mains the Ashada, he means the circle, which we've seen a lot of popularity. He plays droplets in the deck as well, which uh, you can have an opinion about desires in here. Uh, just a big tangy package, pretty standard build, looking just a very, very solid itself. Carlos S playing it as well, uh, top 32. Uh, more hand traps we see here, we see the draws, we see the failures, we see the nips, really, really solid. There's the green tangy. I don't even know what that is, but uh, he's there. No reborn spell, have to go for the 41 cards. Uh, looking solid, more hand traps than the previous build that we've seen. Side deck also pretty standard, I think, in the extra deck. The barrier coming up, evenly coming up instead of the storms. Nice. Uh, so far, two protons in the side, so that's again something I have an opinion about. Then we have the Tri Brigade DPE package. So, if, in case you do not know how this works, you summon Verte, um, then you summon Beer Brum where to a one of the pointers, then you use Verte to summon DPE, you destroy DPE and the Beer Brum to get Revolt. And that's how you play this deck in combination with each other. Pretty interesting list. Mains the Chalice, doesn't main the Droplets, not in the site as well. Plays Gnome Material, Token Collector Bell. Kind of an unconventional side deck, if you ask me. But it does look very, very solid. Uh, yeah, honestly, looks like a cool list. Uh, I would like to try this out myself, actually. Looks really nice. So shout out to KCW with the top 32. And we have Danilo S. So this was has been featured on my channel in the Sentinel Deck profile. So if you want to see a little bit more of this, then definitely go check him out. 
that he, uh, De Jong, I know him, a uh, player from the Netherlands, does main Prodas and Shifter. Doesn't seem like a good combination, but uh, power to you. Um, yeah, it means the reborn spell also clashes with Shifter, but uh, yeah, again, power to you. It means a little bit of a smaller Tenji package while playing the Ashata. Interesting. I really wonder why he doesn't play Vessel if he also plays Shifter. I mean, it makes sense. To Ash, uh, extra deck is pretty standard as well. Looks all its quasars in there. That's a funny thing to see. I wonder what he was doing with that. Uh, the one token collector, so maybe that's what he was doing with that. Um, yeah, looks looks like a solid deck list to me. Shifter, really, really powerful. We're gonna see that a little bit more often. George S with the Sky Striker, first Sky Striker of the day, playing both droplets, both Dark Road and no more. Two rows, playing back for tops in the main, two Valor, three Ash, so not the high amount of hand traps we're seeing we're used to from the packs list, for example. Double Storm, this guy likes two offs a lot. Uh, Shark Cannon at two, which is a card that's popular at one right now, but it's interesting to see that he plays two. He likes his two offs, so. Uh, extra deck also kind of standard. Side deck also kind of standard. More hand traps. Also plays a lot of traps, like the shifter. A lot of, a lot of two offs. <laughs> George, what are you doing? <laughs> so many two offs. Uh, you won't see it sometimes. I guess I guess all the cards are once per turn, so I guess I can see where it comes from. I even see first invoked Dogmatica DPE deck. There, there are no shadows anymore. I mean, there are a, a small amount of shadows, of course. Um, yeah, this is just a consistent list featuring uh, Harpy Sweater Duster. Uh, Looks clean, looks normal to me. Uh, Lancia on the main is pretty spicy. More hand traps in the side, Gamma on the side, interesting to see. There could be only one in the side, interesting to see. Um, yeah, Shadow, Dogmatica, DPE. Or Shadow, yeah, there were Shadow cards. Uh, another one, this one plays Gamma on the main though. Interesting, Ralph S. Congratulations to you. Uh, similar deck, a couple of different choices. Yeah, he, he, they swapped her a little bit in the side and in the main he plays, the, there could be only one in the main. He plays a little bit different side deck. So yeah, Sebastian B with the Tritron. I have things to say about this, I noticed that. Playing Dragoon, which I find really solid. He also plays the uh, Megaliths in there. So uh, two brick engines. Uh, I'm not sure what I think about that. Meaning Talents, meaning Dark Ruler or uh, Forbidden Droplets. Looks nice. He doesn't, oh, he does play Foolish. That's another minus for me. But I can see that relying on the Dragoon strategy nowadays is really, really solid in this deck, especially with so many hand playing around. If they just hand drop you too much, you just make Dragoon. Playing Lancy on the main, you can search it with Benten. I guess he thought it was important enough to play. Also plays the Constellar in the extra deck to add back Eva to hand. This is a, <laughs> a list. <laughs> this is not something that I would play, but I can definitely see it work. Uh, it doesn't play Bether as well, so yeah, he just plays rank 6 turbo. All right, solid, solid list. Vladis Barilski, also known as Hypnocorn. Um, yeah, this is Satellar Knights. Um, yeah, so he plays a triple Deneb, triple Altair, triple Urukwai. I don't know what all the other references he made. This was Vladis's list. Um, he was, of course, a little bit memeing around with this play, it's, uh, saying it's basically 2015 Satellar. Uh, but of course, this is a Sword Soul deck. Uh, playing the Maximus targets in the extra deck, something that's again getting very popular this time around. So uh, maybe we'll see that more a little bit. But yeah, he's uh, just playing around with the fact that uh, this deck just sets a lot of back row and plays Shifter, which is again one of the most powerful cards that we've seen before in Dundee's list. Um, also plays the Reborn spell with Shifter, which I'm not sure about, but no Tangies in here, no nothing. So uh, yeah, looks looks solid. Uh, sad that he didn't get to play his Satellar Knights longer than top 32. Alessandro B uh, playing the same. Yeah, this it looks a lot. It looks very similar. Yeah, this looks similar. One cyclone in the main looks like a similar list that we've seen before. Guy choosing the extra deck or in the side deck. Interesting to see the Roma though is here. Interesting to see as well. Um, yeah, not much to say. This is just a tribegate deck, of course. Alex M playing bird up first bird up deck we've seen. Interesting. Cool. A lot of hand traps. <laughs> Starting off a lot of hand traps. No Dark Ruler, no Chalice, no tech Droplet in the main or in the side. That's interesting. Um, I hope Farfra gets to see this video. He loves the word interesting. Uh, looks like a pretty standard list. One Wagtail, double Tarquas, or, or a Sapphire Swallow. Yeah, looks solid. Not as much going second cards, except for the hand traps, of course. No power spells in the main, but uh, he plays desires. That's kind of different. 
another Tritron list. This is the Sight DPE list. Definitely, yeah, with the one Lancia yeah, in the main. Cool. He sights Eva. All right. He doesn't play ultimateness. Whoa. This is. This is get, get, getting something, picking up a deck, and then turning it up on its head. This looks very, very cool, Alexandre. This is nice. This is something we can talk about actually a little bit more. Wow. I'm kind of stunned. Didn't expect this. Only one Fusion Destiny playing Mystic Mine in the main and Terraforming. That's Conci with the Fafnir, a little field spell engine. One prep. Uh, I guess you just draw it every time. Playing Foolish. Not a big fan of that card. He is still playing Beatrice, but I guess that is for Siding. No token collector spell. Siding called by. That's also unconventional, but okay. Yeah, this looks like a cool list. So you just turbo a DPE side. That's all. That's all he does. Oh, well, it's one way to play the deck. Looks very nice. I'm gonna experiment with this. Yeah. Use Alexandre. If you uh, watch this video, send me a PM on uh, Twitter or Facebook. Because uh, looks re really, really cool. I'd like to hear a little bit more about this. Uh, same list. Alex T. Prodas in the main. More circles. We haven't seen Vessel anywhere. So that card has been really dropping off. Uh, looks similar. Playing a Reborn spell as well. A lot of Reborn spells, which I didn't really expect. But uh, hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, Alex is T. Uh, and QX with a Sky Striker list. Uh, Kaiju's in the main, more hand traps than we've just seen. Um, less two offs. <laughs> Still a lot of two offs. Again, 41 cards playing a Hercules base as well. That's interesting. More hand traps in the side. D Barrier, again, very, very popular. And a win. Ah, people are picking up on a win. Maybe win is a really good card with the, uh, with the Baron being so popular right now. Cool list, cool list. Uh, Andreas V, another top 32. Uh, a lot of hand traps. Droplet is in this main deck. No desires is in here. No draw consistency spells. All right. So, yeah, bird up deck. Bird up deck with bird up bridge. It's double wagtail, double swallow. Looks nice. Order in the main, of course. Love to see it. Then we enter the top 16. Finally, we enter the top 16. So, let's start off with a invoked build all right playing droplets in the main solid um not much to say about this just looks like a very consistent list anything weird in the side no not really yeah looks nice david the v first top 16 deck list uh el medi m top 16 as well protos in the main again double ash no shifter droplets in the main vessel first vessel guess it's good actually playing Monster Reborn, just like the Monster Reborn spells. So he plays two Monster Reborn spells. That's nice. Um, anything else? Crimson Blader in the side, or in the extra deck. Double Lancia, Triple DD Crow. Cool. See that you spent three slots on the Crow. That's nice to see. Maybe a little bit more popular this format with all those graveyard decks running around. The Dangies, the DPs and stuff. Looks nice. Mattia B playing roughly same he plays protos in the side deck it's cool playing ashes failures uh, again the water the water tenji not the fire tenji which i expected to see a little bit more but looks uh looks solid ricardo oh one ash one failure <laughs> on emperor and when uh hand trap some of the times now he he turbos out the uh What's it called? The Yang Xing. Uh, Zhao Feng. Playing Kao Pai in the main. Which we haven't seen a lot of sorts of players do. Playing the Reborn spell. Playing Vessel as well. Uh, citing the the power spells. Yeah. Looks uh, like a solid list. A lot of different ways to tech out your deck. With sorts of. Tim M with Rytron. He does play Herald. Had to look at it immediately. Playing Crossout. Designator. Alright. That's cool. He plays Ash. He plays Nip. He plays Troll. And that's to prepare himself for the opponent. Uh, one called by again the foolish for <laughs> why play the chaos order in the extra deck that's cool playing fuko in the extra deck that's also cool helps you play through hand traps a lot um one mystic mine in the inside deck why do people just tag in one random mystic mine guys come on <laughs> can't have that don't play mine um, looks nice yeah a little bit more unconventional with the uh with the cross of escalators but very solid tony w playing cross designator 
with the Alluridisk package. All right, all right. One Swallow, one Wagtail to make room for the hand traps. One Crow, one Ash, one Draw, one Vader, one Nip. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Kazuki Takahashi's dream of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is how it was meant to be played. One Talent, one Dark Ruler, no more. <laughs> one Imperm. Yeah, this looks like a cross-out list. Uh, cool to see that he made it this far with such a cool list. So yeah, it is definitely possible. This card can be good. I... Uh, would really like to know how much that card has helped in throughout the format because it looks really, really nice. Yeah. Victor C, of course, uh, another Burda player. So this is where we see the Burda players drop off a little bit. Too evenly. Oh, he's playing Revolt? He's playing Trap Trick? Oh, he plays Turbo out the uh, uh, Harpy's Trap. Okay, I see, I see. Playing Lava Golem in the side deck. Okay, Dark Samark, Lancias. All right, this is a different take on the deck. This looks very, very cool. Uh, look, play Barry Sitch in the main. Really, really have to wonder why you play that in there. But uh, yeah, definitely something else. I really wonder why the two evenlies. Why? We'll be playing Sky Striker, right? Geki in the main. Prosperity in the main. That's something that we haven't seen. No. Uh, Bell in the main. I wonder why we would play Bell here. But all right, Fantasme in the side. Cool, cool. Evenly in the side. All right. Right, definitely again a very different list than we've seen before. Top four. Oh, I think that I already had this one. Yeah, top eight. Fabio P. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's uh, that's a list. Double sight, <laughs> triple ignition. Playing more artifacts. Sanctum. Definitely banking on the power of the artifacts. That's so cool, playing a big artifact package. Getting so far to the top 8 with it, that's insane. Uh, I love to see this. Uh, Prosperity as well. Chalices. Nothing special besides that, but that again is very, very cool to see. Uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Artifact Sky Striker. Looks solid. Want to try that out myself later. Another top 8. Gills the Bird Up. Um, Droplet Tactic. Desires as well. A very different list than what we have seen before. There's no trap trick in this list. Not not necessary. Not necessary. All right. All right. No barrier stash as well. Ifran K. DBE Tritron. With perfection. With pre prep. All right. That's different. That's a different thing. Meaning Dark Ruler. Only two emergency. Only two Nova. He compromised in one Delta, one Gamma. I I I. I... What? How did he get this far? This doesn't look like enough names, but he made top eight. So I'm doubting if this is consistently wise a good choice, but he made it to the top eight. I am not sure about this one. I am not sure about this one. Very interesting to see the, the, the choices that he made for his deck. All right. Uh, Vincenzo O. Joke Children. What? Uh, I did not expect to see this here, but uh, all right. All right, he placed a Monster Reborn spell. Droplets in the main. Uh, all right. If Vincenzo proves that this deck is here to stay, it's still good. One Meow Meow. Who cares? Just play one. Lamao. All right. <laughs> I'm very uh, unexpectedly surprised by this. Playing double pranks as well. It's Children in the main. All right, it looks like a normal Prankit stack. It, uh, yeah, it's just a normal Prankit stack. No DP, no nothing. All right, all right. Very, very solid job. Looking very good. Top four. Starting off with Per Luigi that we have sneak peeked before, of course. Um, bird up. The first bird up deck of the top four. Double draw. One TD Crow. He's playing the Droplets, playing the Talents as well. No pots playing one for one. Uh, side deck looks kind of standard as well. Third draw. Pretty standard build, playing Oath in the main. Alright, congratulations to Birdie for the top four. There we have Luke Parks in the third place. Is that I'm not sure if that's Parks. It might be Luke P with someone else. Playing, yeah, the Invoked DPE package. Alright, Mystic Mine in the main, one off. Um, looks like a consistent list with the Prosperity. Also playing the Duster. Cool to see that a lot of people are running Duster for some reason. Flirtily Maximus, Ariel on the side, Toko Collection on the side. Uh, looks like a DPE invoked deck profile to me. Congratulations, Luke, on your third place. 
then this is the deck that we have all been waiting for. Herman Hansen B Trooper. Now this, this is a list. So, uh, yeah, Herman had a lot of action on stream. Sadly, he could not make it, take it to the end. But it was, uh, yeah, that was some insane matches that we've seen. It was a pleasure to watch Herman play this deck. Second place B Trooper proving that, yeah, this deck has what it takes. And, um, you know, besides the DPE, this doesn't look like that much of an expensive deck. You know, bar the side deck. There's no droplets in the main deck. There's not, not that much in the deck. This looks just like a very cool yeah, take to beat the meta. It looks very, very solid, very innovative. Uh, very happy for him that he uh, got second place. And then first place deck profile. Mikael P. Sword Soul. Now, did, did you guys expect to see Sword Soul take the win after everyone told us that it wasn't good enough? Well, Protoss in the main apparently is. So, um, yeah, huge congratulations to Michael P for taking down the win. A very solid work. Looks like a very standard but clean Sword Soul list, which uh, it's nice to see that he just doesn't choose to play, uh, you know, to certain gimmicks, to certain strategies. No, he just wants to do his thing. Tangy Sword Soul, that's what he wanted to play. That's what he came here for. That's exactly what he's going to do. And, uh, yeah, it's exactly what he did. First place, pretty, pretty huge that he... Uh, Took it all the way over here. Looks very, very nice. So yeah, again, I have to give a big shout out to Raid and Train and to Sven for providing these deck lists on such a notice. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, timestamps in the description so you can just look back at all the different deck lists that you uh, that you want to see. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Thank you for Raid and Trade and Sven for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.